All right. We've got the Cobot Cable Management Kit unboxed here on the table, including the TriFlex R. We've got the tools ready, and now it's time to go ahead and install it on the robot. Hi, I'm David Sandilan, Automotive and Robotics Sales Manager at IGUS. And today I'm going to show you how to install a Cobot Cable Management Kit on a UR5. Now depending on the kind of robot that you've purchased, obviously the arm diameters are going to change. But if you watched the previous video unboxing a Cobot Cable Management Kit, you would see that we provide with each kit four bracket sets that include one meter of hook and loop strip so you can cut it to length. But through the miracle of television, We've already cut the correct lengths for our particular robot, and I'm just going to go ahead and start installing right now. So you'll need a longer piece of hook and loop tape and a base to secure around the arm. Make sure you, that you get it on there nice and snug so that it doesn't move around on you. If you feel like it's not tight enough, don't be afraid to go ahead and tighten it up a little bit more. This hook and loop tape has a special rubberized backing that gives it a fairly good grip. One base at the top and the bottom of the arm, on each arm. Now to secure the TriFlex onto the brackets, I'm going to include another piece of hook and loop tape on three of the four brackets. The fourth position will be secured by a strain relief bracket. It's important to make sure that you strain relieve your cables and hoses using tie wraps individually on these fingers. What that does is it prevents a sawing motion of the cables in and out of the triflex, which can cause damage to the jacket material. In order to open one of these brackets, you'll need a flat headed screwdriver and you simply apply it into the latch and open it up. We provide two T15 Torx screws in order to attach it to the base. Okay, we've got our brackets set and ready to go. So now you can start to insert your cables and hoses. Unlike corrugated hose products, they're tubes, they don't have slits. TRE TriFlex has a slit on each side. This makes inserting cables and hoses very simple. Some important things to remember when you're doing this is the ball end of TriFlex always goes to the tool. So if you have connectors pre-installed on your cables and hoses, you want to make sure that the 
end of arm tool connectors go at the ball end. I'm going to demonstrate the correct way to install cables into Triflex R. So you're going to start at the ball end. And then what you can do is you can just use the curve and its leverage against the Triflex. So seeing as how we have separation in Triflex, I'll put the cable on the opposite side to keep the cable and the hose separated. The separation requires us to make the last link a solid when we wanted to insert it into a fixed bracket. So we supply locking clips. These locking clips are inserted on each side of the separation. To make it a solid. Now we start from the end of arm and insert the triflex. Leave a little bit of slack at this axis so that the triflex doesn't bind up. Another important thing to remember with Triflex is to run it in a straight direction. You don't want to pre-torsion it, thereby causing some issues during robot motion. So now that we have it installed, depending on where you're going to terminate the Triflex, you're going to have to shorten it. In this case, we will just terminate, terminate it at the base of the robot. Last step not to be forgotten is you should strain relieve your cables as I mentioned earlier with tie wraps. Snip those tie wraps with angle cutters, nice and flush. And there you have it. Your Cobot Cable Management Kit is installed on your robot and it's ready for action. For more information, please click on the link below in the description and visit our Cobot shop, which has a variety of kits for Cobots and accessories. Thanks for watching.